Shortly before 9 a.m., fashion designer Gianni Versace was shot on the steps of his villa. Miami is now at the center of one of the largest FBI manhunts of all time. For the second installment of American Crime Story, we're telling the story of Andrew Cunanan, a spree killer in the 1990s who climaxed with the very public murder of Gianni Versace. This is a heinous and inexplicable crime. Versace was very loved. Everybody who met him, they were fascinated by him, and nobody expected this. He was a creator. He was a genius. And my brother is still alive as long as Versace is alive. It is about the events leading up to the murder of Johnny Versace. Johnny Versace. Versace. Signore Versace. But also, we're going to understand how that could have been avoided. Suspect on the run in pursuit! This particular manhunt is the largest failed FBI manhunt in history. Andrew Cunanan, 27 years old, he's killed four men. Why do you think he's now in Miami? We don't know where he is. People were scared. The fact that this man was killing gay men, still some people don't understand why it happened. I'm Andy. So what do you do? I'm a serial killer. For every season of American Crime Story, what we're interested in is what makes this an American crime, a crime America is guilty of, not just the characters we're exploring. He's going to target closeted, older, wealthy homosexuals. So you don't want to canvas South Beach as well? Andrew's journey is a journey through the politics of homosexuality as they played across America in the 1990s. You tell gay people you're gay and straight people you're straight. I tell people what they need to hear. Versace has invited me to the opera. Life is special. Help! Life is precious. You've given him nothing. That is how I feel. I'm so happy right now. The truth is, you know, fear and prejudice, unfortunately, is always in fashion.